Every deep experience of the Spirit is best on how deep you are in the Word. Hello guys, I welcome you once again to Sons and Daughters of Prophet to the Angel. If you are new to this channel, please show us love by subscribing, liking and sharing our content. And even give this video, this video a thumb up. Uh, in this video, our man of God was teaching deep things of the Spirit. He said, uh, every experience in the Spirit, in your work with God, depends on how deep you are in the Word of God. And he went on to say that that is why shallow men of God who have, don't have much knowledge in the Word of God are men of shallow words. And men who don't, and men who have deep revelation into the world, who who have knowledge into the things of God, uh, have deeper knowledge uh, of spiritual things. So let's go straight to this video and watch. Please give this video a thumb up and share this video. God bless you. See you after the video. You see men of God being used by God. There is something that they don't. They, they, they really, really get to a point where they do not do. They don't do this and they do this. And they know this and they don't know this. Your capacity to contain the things of God is based on your knowledge. What do you have in you? Every deep experience of the Spirit is based on how deep you are in the world. So it stands to reason that a shallow man of God are men of shallow way. Pretentious men of God are men of pretend words. They copy revelation so they don't have revelation of their own. So the words are coming out, but the spirit is not following to back up the word. You know, you can speak a word and it will not produce power. Then one man can say the same word and produce power. Let me explain. How does Pastor Chris have a cut, a gash? and grabs it and this does like this and it disappears no talk no crying nothing how does william branham uh, marion branham have his wife dead in the car the fire department is trying to cut the car so that they can retrieve the people to come out even including including him and he says to his son i can only speak i can't move my body bring your mother take your mother's hand put it in mine and the man says Lord, help us in our time of trouble. What kind of prayer is that for resurrection? And the wife who is dead, who has been confirmed dead, comes to life. Simple prayer. What you lack is the, the depth of what is behind him saying it. Oh, there is something deep behind him. That anything you could have said, you could have just said milk. And that lady would have come back to life. <laughs> he could have coughed and something would have happened. There are men on earth today that are 600 years old. You just don't know them. So imagine, right now as I'm speaking these things, you might be ghost. Ah, no, it's not possible. How many people do you know in your country? Let's say you know all the 20 million in your country or 45 million in South Africa. Let's say the world is 7.5 billion or so they claim. And you have never met all of those. But you are in your house saying, no, it's nothing like that. Let me tell you something. Remember what the Bible says, what Jesus said. He said, he said, Peter said, what are we going to do with this guy called John? He said, what? He said, if I want it. Hi. May that be for you. Hi. He said, if I want it, he can live for until I come back. Do you know the coming back is not rapture? No. The coming back is the parousia. The word parousia. It means the second coming, not the rapture. The second coming. He can cross. The rapture can happen and the guy is still sitting here like they're coming back said if I wanted to so Jesus was letting you on any secret there to say if I want there are people that I might just want to stay here but notice John when he finishes the book he says it this way uh, and men began to speak that this man John who writes this book was well, going to live forever but the Lord did just say if I wanted you see you see notice notice here 
that the disciples themselves started saying, this man will live forever. And John then writes and said, but the way I heard it was he said, if I wanted. What if Jesus actually wanted? And what if John is here? Wait. I did not say that. <laughs> I just gave you uh, a, 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 a thing to look at. I did not say John is here. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. See you in our next video. Shalom.